Okay, welcome to Metric Mania. Okay, we're going to watch um, a little video, and this is what you're going to use to complete the front of the worksheet you have called Introduction to the Metric System. How far is it from here to here? How much of the television set you're watching well? And how many years old are you? See, we measure things all the time. That's how we compare one thing to another. Measuring things is how we understand the world. And especially, it's how we understand our place on it. Measuring things allows us to figure out how long it takes to go from one place to another. If we didn't measure things, everything we build would fall right down. The better we measure, the better things fit. Okay, the metric system is all about the number 10. It's a set of standardized units of measurement based on the number 10 used by almost every country in the world and by every scientist worldwide. Humans are about this big, so we've always wanted a unit of measurement about this and this long. And we want it to be the same for everyone. We want it to be a standard. That's why it's hard to use something like a foot, because not everybody has the same size feet. So what we did is we looked at the Earth, and we divided the distance from the North Pole to the equator in tens, ten million times. And we got this. It's a meter. We use 10 because humans have 10 fingers. Now you can keep going. You can divide a meter by 10, and then 10 again, and you get centimeters. There are 100 centimeters in a meter, just like there are 100 cents in a dollar. You can divide it by a thousand, and you get millimeters by a million, and you get micrometers. It's easy. With a meter, you can measure just about anything. This microphone is about... It's the metric system. It's easy, right? I said it's easy, right? Alright, so who uses the metric system? This is why we need to learn about it because you notice that all these green countries use the metric system and this one big gray country does not. That's why you're needing to learn about it in seventh grade, and it's not as familiar to you as using feet and inches. Okay, so there's different way, different measurements that we're going to take, and you are going to use this information here to fill in the top table on the sheet I gave you. Okay. So I filled in this measurement. We can measure by distance. We measure in meters. Volume is measured in liters. You buy two liters of soda. Mass is measured in grams. Time is measured in seconds. That's not a very good example, though. Temperature is measured in Celsius. And force and weight is measured in newtons. This one we will do in the spring. It's these that you really need to worry about right now. So I want you to complete this top table, pause the movie if you need to, and then we'll look at the next table. Okay, so the prefixes indicate the relationship of the measurement to the base unit. Okay, so if we have a kilogram, a kilogram is a thousand times larger than a gram, and it's a lowercase k. Hecto you don't see very much, and deca you don't see very much, but you need to record this information. 
the base units, you're going to write a 1 in this column, and it's whatever the base is. So it may be a meter, it may be a liter, it may be a gram. And then deci, we don't use very much, but it's one tenth smaller. Centa is one hundredth, and milli is one thousandth. Pause the movie while you finish your table. Okay, what unit should we use? Uh oh. If you're going to measure the length of the side of a desk, would you use a gram, a meter, or a liter? The mass of a dry erase marker, would that be a gram, a meter, or a liter? You don't have to write these down, just think about them. And the amount of liquid in a cup. Would that be a gram, a meter, or a liter? Okay, so object one would be a meter. Object two would be grams. Object three, the amount of liquid in a cup would be liters. All right, so we're going to return to our thing here. All right, so turn your paper over. And based on what your knowledge is now, which you may or may not know the answers to these, what do you think is longer, a mile or a kilometer? You run the back of your worksheet and you can circle the one that you think is longer. Okay, and then we're going to look at the right answers here in a minute. Okay, a mile is 1.6 kilometers. So you can fill that in for number two. Uh -oh. Okay. A yard is 0.94 meters. Okay, fill that in for number two. So a meter is longer than a yard. And then inch and centimeter, an inch is 2.54 centimeters. So an inch is longer than a centimeter. So if you use this information on this page to complete numbers 1 and 2. All right, number 3. The basic unit of length in the metric system is the meter and is represented by a lowercase m. Write that down for number 3. Fill in the blanks. A meter is defined as the distance traveled by light in an absolute vacuum in 1 299,792,458 thousand <laughs> billion of a second. Okay, that's confusing. I think his explanation was a lot clearer when they took the distance from the North Pole to the equator and divided it um, in 10 million by 10 million. That is the distance of a meter. Okay, complete each statement. One kilometer, we're on number five now, equals a thousand meters. One meter is 100 centimeters. And one meter is 1,000 millimeters. Okay, so using that information, what do you think is longer? One meter or 105 centimeters? Remember that one meter is a hundred centimeters, so this would be a hundred centimeters, a hundred and five centimeters, which is longer. B, four kilometers or four thousand four hundred meters. Well, four kilometers is a thousand meters, is four thousand meters. So what's longer, four thousand meters or four thousand four hundred meters? Okay, 12 centimeters or 102 millimeters. 12 centimeters is 120 millimeters. And the last one, we have 1,200 millimeters or one meter. Well, how many millimeters is one meter? There are a thousand. Okay, and we will talk about these more um, 
in the next couple days. Okay, how many millimeters are in one centimeter? One centimeter has ten millimeters in it. Okay, so what is the length of the line in centimeters? Okay, this is one centimeter, two, is it all the way to three? No. It's two point one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two point uh oh. It's two point eight centimeters. Each one of these little lines is a millimeter. So count how many lines that is, and that's how many millimeters it is. Now if we wanted to round this line, what do we round it to? Does it round to 2 centimeters or 3 centimeters? Alright, that's it.